you've got multiple installs of a TV portal on multiple devices, then you can synchronize your setup between uh, from one device to multiple devices. Uh, that includes devices that aren't even on the same network. So for example, if you've got uh, mobile devices and you want them to have exactly the same setup as your PC or a set top box in the lounge, then you can do so. And it's pretty simple to do. So head on into your Kodi folder and go to user data, add on data, and you'll see that there is a folder called script.tv portal. So if we want an absolute duplicate setup, uh, we could um, we could right click on that and archive it. So I'm using WinRAR here, but you know you can use WinZip or 7-Zip, whatever program um, you prefer, and you can call it whatever you like as well. So I'm just going to call it TVP zip okay just make sure it is zip format and not anything else it has to be dot zip so you should be able to see yeah so the size of that I mean it's quite large 32 megabytes so we could upload that to somewhere on the web and we could synchronize our devices with that however it's not um, it's not best practice to do that because there's a lot of information in there that is unnecessary we're you know we're downloading much more than what we actually need so let's go back into let's just delete that one and we remember that was 32 megabytes let's go into the TV portal folder what we're going to do is create a new folder and this has to be called script.tv portal okay and I'll just show you the things that we do need to copy into there to back up. So channels, that is a, a list of all your channels basically. Um, it, uh, it includes like details of uh, the categories they're in and the mappings, all that kind of thing. So we need that. Uh, the cats XML is the master XML file with all your categorized channels in. We need that. The channel XML, so this is the master XML file that holds all the details of all of the channels themselves. And then finally, we've got program database, which is the main database with all the listings. And as you can see, it's quite a large file that I think this one here has uh, 1400 odd uh, channels. So that's a lot of listings. So as you can see, that's a large file, but once compressed, uh, once zipped up it's considerably smaller so they're the main ones that we want to be keeping so I'm going to right click and copy I'm going to go into this folder here and I'm going to right click and paste okay so they're in there that is all we need really to back up if you want you can include, well, you can include include anything you want really, but um, the extras, that contains your logos and skins. Now by default, the add-on automatically checks for new logos and new skins and will update those anyway from the um, Noobs and Nerds servers. So I wouldn't worry about that unless you've made your own logo packs or skins, in which case you may want to include them. And, and even so, if you have made new logos or new skins, I would only really include the ones that you've just added. Um, it won't hurt to, um, to add them all, but obviously it just makes that file that much bigger. And if you're downloading on uh, mobile, internet or something like that, obviously every, uh, every megabyte counts. The any one there, again, that's automatically downloaded on, on first run and where every time you boot it up, so that's probably not needed unless you've added your own any files and the rest of them again there's really no need to back any of those up so let's back this one up so what this will give us is this will let us synchronize our listings um, along with uh, channel customizations such as uh, where they appear in the guide categories that kind of thing so let's do Add to archive, we call it TVP 
and we zip it OK. Now you can see there it's doing all of those, um, it was doing all of those uh, channels. And there you go. So it's almost 10 megabytes smaller um, and we've got all the information that we need anyway. So it's, it's basically a third of the size. Now what we'll do with that zip is upload to either your own private server or somewhere like archive.org. Wherever you upload to, it has to have a final resolved link um, so no extra button press is involved because Cody obviously doesn't know how to press buttons. Um, it's quite simple, you know, we, we need it to be a direct link to the download. So I've actually already uploaded one of those to archive.org. Um, you can see it here, TVP data. Um, so if I right click on that and copy link address, I can then go back to Cody and we can paste that details into Cody, into the TV portal settings. Now what I'm going to do though, first of all, just to prove that it does work, let's go TV portal settings and if I go over to maintenance, I'm going to choose the very bottom option, which will totally wipe the whole uh, setup. Okay, so all of my add-on data for um, TV portal should now be gone. So let's just double check that, add-on data, yep, it's vanished, nothing there, all gone. Um, so it's still installed, it's just that the add-on data itself has now been removed. So what we can now do is go back into the settings and you need to unlock features with Noobs and Nerds login. So if you don't already have an account with uh, the Noobs and Nerds forum, uh, you can sign up for free. You can either use, use the unofficial Kodi support forum on Noobs and Nerds or you can use the community build support forum on Noobs and Nerds. There's two separate forums um, for either Kodi support or community build support. So I'm going to use the Kodi support one and I'll enter my details in a moment. But I'll just show you how to enter the details for this update file. So use a remote share for add-on data. Enter location for shared add-on data folder. So all we would do is paste that in there, click done, make sure your username and password's in, and then OK out of the settings. So I'm just going to enter my password now. OK, the password is all entered. So let's try opening it up. And so we've got the initial install of some files. We've got the skin files installing, uh, logo packs and the any files. So that's those done and then hopefully, there we go, it looks like it's, there we go, it's picked up that file. So it's picked up that user data file and it's now installing it. And any time we update that file online, um, the, the uh, system will know that the file has changed and it will re-download. So there's nothing else you have to do. So long as that link stays the same, and that link itself doesn't change, then um, it will be self-updating on all your devices. They will synchronize uh, across the board. So we should hopefully see that we've got our listings in here with uh, something like 1400 channels. And there you go, we've got our listings up, icons, and if we press up, let's see how many we got. Yep, it is, it's 1400 odd channels. Um, so there you go, um, hopefully, not too difficult to work out that one. It's um, it's basically just a case of zipping up your user data, uploading it to uh, the server of your choice, and then entering details in the add-on settings. And it's uh, self-updating for all your devices. Just uh, just need to look after one. Okay. Thanks for watching.